Hey YouTube, just a quick Friday job because I love you. Leaned out over the house and so hingewood on this side was, oh, fail. We hit the chipper with a leaf. So now we'll put the entire tree in the Axe 19 chipper. painful for some and I understand to uh, to chip up this oak tree because it's like really nice firewood but you know supply and demand I've got firewood piled a mile high and I'd love to give it away to somebody if there was somebody that would take it but there is nobody so we'll make chips out of it and boy oh boy do the chips make really good soil later where I'm putting them they just break down over time and turn into dirt the best dirt people have been asking me what's up where's the axe 19 how can we never see the axe 19 um, hey what are you doing in the back of the truck huh? oh you get you getting I some tools just making sure that there was, uh, enough oh. room for the rest of this okay tree how's it looking there. It. <laughs> okay so there's the Axe 19. We've just been using the other one so that this one lasts longer. And the other one's easier to tow. And unless you're chipping a lot of wood, you know, you can get the BC 1000 XL or whatever it's called. Really actually is surprisingly capable little chipper. And so we use it all the time. And then there's another reason, um, personnel related that we won't mention of why we haven't been taking this one. But uh, mostly we're doing what we want to do. And today we want to use it because we're gonna chip this entire tree because it'll just be easier. That little tree leans toward the deck, snore. We're gonna put a line on it short ways up and then pull it with this, this real tippy excavator up here. This is a stump removal job and we don't have a track uh, stump grinder we have that you can't hardly go off the flat ground with wheels on that thing so it takes tracks to get on terrain and terrain doesn't really show up on video but I guess we're we're getting these stumps out I'm hoping you're pretty careful Damien on uh, hillside excavator work Happy Friday. Oh, Damien wants to tell you something. Oh, he says he has a special treat for you. Now it's reachable from the bottom. They say they don't want it. He said, sometimes in life there's things that you don't want, but you have to have them. Maybe we'll think of something else to mention since we're here. It's Friday, you know, it feels good on Friday to have a short job. I know it seems like we're always cutting down a tree, but that's just because we are, we are always. If we were plumbers, we'd be fixing that sink every day, all the time. Yeah, and Damien says, if we were plumbers, we'd be showing you our, our sink work every day too. You'd all be big fans of it. And some of you would hate it. About half a percent, half of 1% would hate it. If my calculations are correct. I get to use Jeff's, uh, battery saw today it's the husky 536 and uh, it's got the panther bar and quarter pitch chain on it and it'll be awesome because not a single you know upper middle class neighbor around here is gonna think that they need to call the cops over our chainsaw because they're gonna think it's a sawzall super luxurious to have these things you know like the to have the stabilizers and the winch and the feed I mean this thing goes up down over 
and even the the nozzle is directable just amazing love this thing still love it i think people were wondering if i had it you know like if i had some trouble with it but i haven't haven't had any trouble i'm still in still on cloud nine still love it it's expensive i mean it costs more than the dang like i could have bought a shop and put all my tools in it all the all the equipment would have fit in the shop for less price than this thing costs and now i gotta park this in the rain so i really need to that's another thing i, I need to do one of these days is let's get everything under cover hey don't let it go don't do it because of that yeah i don't want it going through that i mean that's one little bobble and it's over Still for that it's so thing. light why don't we just go bigger and have even more security and rion thought it was a good idea Whoa. Oh. Wow. That bad? these are some hooters man and these are super do black to that Ow. so the so the five to one yeah. working load limit so is 11 good. he's okay he's yeah okay. all right thanks yeah the five to one working load limit is um eleven thousand seven hundred okay so man <laughs> it's just nice to know that your slings i mean this is one sling right we usually use two so bomb so incredibly bomb thank you rion rounds for making it happen through uh Westboro, i think very custom though so these are the new bling slings they're not for towing the moped we're at that time of day where they add a tree I'll show it to you. We could say no, but we think we have time. So this one, obviously there's room around here, right? All these trees would defend against anything going that way. But anyway, it's it's up there where it marries into that other tree. It's so crusty that we don't really feel like screwing around with it. So it might not be uh, camera worthy, but we're gonna use the throw line to put a rope in it and then put a block up on the hill and then put that rope through the block and down here to another block and then just pull the tree over with a cripple cut okay might not even ever show you guys because it feels so boring but it is kind of cool that there's a way a way to do it i mean it's just woods here so no reason to climb up there if it falls toward their RV all these other trees would probably like get in the way I mean it wouldn't they really don't even need to cut it I think but then again if they're out here working I see their landscaper types doing work all over the place all the time this thing is just always kind of like sniping ready just waiting up there to to drop on you so I, I guess it's responsible yeah gonna be kind of kind of bouncy smashy crashy action when it goes over I can tell you that that'll be worthy come on yes 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 nice. dialed I got a bunch of limbs so if I tried to do a running bowling right now and pull this up there, probably wouldn't be that good. So, so I'm gonna basket. I'm gonna uh, do a bowling just like this. Okay. And it's over some limbs up there. I don't think you guys are gonna understand. But it might be hard to get a running bowl and to get all up in there nice and tight. But with like this, 
it'll just go, both of them will go out and it'll kind of self-adjust where it goes over that limb. And it's not a base tie, because a base tie would be a little bit more down pressure on the limb on the backside than I want. At least this way though, both lines will be going out like that. I don't know if you get it, but it's a thing. I love that sound. <laughs> It's so special ops. So you see now that we're up the hill there, you can see that this is a pretty good, I mean, we're not, we're not gonna be, our rope's not gonna be sliding down. We're gonna have great purchase on that crispy critter. So it's called the Carrick Bend, crab fisherman experience. You get you one of those, then you go like this, you do that whole rabbit thing, and then you go, Back in like that, then you grab both ends, you step on one, and then you set the knot. You untie it or what? Huh? It's You'll always uh, be able to untie it and it'll hold. Yeah. It's it's kinda like a bowl it's a bend, you know. It kinda yeah. reminds me of a bowling, but it's kind of handy for tying two ropes together. Right, without putting so much tension on mm -hmm. the two. So when I was, uh, when I came out of the commercial fishing thing and went into the tree thing, we were doing these tall trees in Washington, it'd be 200 footers. And um, double rope means you mm -hmm. got a 200 fo foot rope, you can only rappel down 100 feet. Mm -hmm. and so I needed to hook ropes together all the time. And I was one of the only guys who knew how even though the other guys were tree guys. Right. So they would tie a bowlin with a loop. They they would go like this. That would get caught around limbs and stuff. Yeah, they would they would get their bowlin going like that. And since that's the only knot they knew, they would just <laughs> that's how you do. Yeah. Then you they would just tie another one like that. The trouble is that is a weak, weak point. Yeah, and the stobs get... Yeah, it's there. it's catchy on stuff. Plus, if you pull it hard, there's no way this will hold up as well as the other one. It's made for tying ends together. That or they come down halfway and retie in. Do like a, pull their yeah. rope out, tie in again. There was a lot of things about tree guys up there when I started that I came from a falling tree falling there background, so they would climb everything. Hey, let's get that mini over here. So now we'll go cripple the thing. It's all locked in there, so it's not going to be pretty. But we're going to take it, you know, it leans. So we're going to take it up the hill and crash it through these two, the fork of these oaks. and. It's likely to get tangled up in this fir tree here and we'll have to use brute force to pull on it which will likely break uh, some, break the top out or break some limbs out and so this will be a good vantage point for the camera because it's going to be uh, crash and smash right? Good view of it I think. Okay so here's the cripple cut, big wide open face cut so that it has no hindrance we want this to go all the way to the ground before the cuts meet up. More holding wood on this side. That's uh, three inches and the other side probably has two because it kind of goes that way, but this way too. So we need more holding wood on this side and see if we can get it down, down through there. It'll hopefully just go past those limbs with force and go crashing through there. So let me put you guys somewhere cool. Can he untie the carrot bend? Oh, he can? Okay. 
anticlimactic. Love it when a plan comes together. So this is the wild woods, and so we're just gonna cut this so that it lays on the ground. And we're out, done by one, it's 11.30. Hey, my name's Evan. I'm here at monkeybeaver.com. I just wanted to touch base with the fact that we've got some saddles on the shelf. So we've got uh, about a dozen mediums here and about a dozen larges. So if you're looking for either of those sizes, we've got them available. Don't forget that if you also purchase a pair of suspenders and leg pads at the same time, you'll get these for a discount. If you buy the suspenders and the leg pads, you get the leg pads for free. If you're purchasing a saddle and just the suspenders, you get the suspenders for $25 off. We've got suspenders coming out of our ears here. Here's just one little pile of them. But uh, we are your only source for monkey beaver saddles. If, uh, if you're interested in them, go ahead and give me a call. Uh, you have any questions about sizing or anything like that, you can just call me. Um, don't forget to look on monkeybeaver.com and this is where you'll get the famous monkey beaver saddle. So, again, my name is Evan, monkeybeaver.com. Peace. Monkeybeaver.com.